Hello everyone, I'm Everglade Glade, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're not going to be playing some VGC because um, I don't want to play Moon Series as of t tonight because I just don't feel like it. I don't want to play Ultra Series because I was going to do a gimmicky team for Ultra Series, but then I'm actually really trying to climb, climb the Ultra Series ladder. So I decided upon this team, the um, my um, Gen 7 OU team, which is a very interesting team. On the team is a Mega B Drill, a um, Sylveon, a, a Pixie Plate, Pixelate Sylveon, a Firearm fire, fire Z Heatran, if I can say that. A Assault Vest type of bullet, a Rocky Helmet, Slowbro, and a Algolf Berry Dragon Ice. Let's get into a battle. I think I'm somewhat decent on the ladder. Oh, that's a, that's a mistake. I think I'm somewhat decent on the ladder. I'm like 1300s, I think. Could be wrong. That's a little loud. That, I think that should be good. I think... Okay, so he is a sort of a stalling team. Clefable can go for the Calm Mind and everything type of Lele's. A bit annoying. Lander's Therian. And that Charizard looking at a team that's probably X. Ah, uh, yeah, that Charizard's probably X. Hat for... Heart for testing? Hello. So, uh, if you do not know, heart for testing, um... Is he he and I battle on the ultra ultra series ladder quite a bit, so I don't know. It's interesting for him to join. Anyways, um, let us see. Okay, so I feel like going he trans a solid lead, but he's going to want to go Lando. He's gonna want to start off with Landorus there. I'm gonna go slow, Rosalie. I feel like it's pretty safe. Yep, he's gonna go Landorus. Something that we do have to consider is he's, he's blah, if I can speak, he's just gonna go for the U-turn. Um, so what would the U-turn add him to? Probably the muck. I'm still gonna go for Scald even if he gets Stealth Rocks up. Because I think the only thing that'd be able to take it somewhat decently would be the Lele. Skarmory comes in. Burn. Woo! We got the bird! Heck yeah. And I think he can get up its Stealth Rocks. Spikes? I forget. I don't even know what they're called. I'm going to go Dragonite and start setting up. I don't think this guy's Whirlwind. Actually, that was a really bad play. I'm just going to go for a Dragon Claw, see how much it does. He's going to roost here, isn't he? He's going to Whirlwind, actually, which is nice. I'm not saying it's the greatest thing. I don't think I should have dragon. I don't think I should have just went hard bullet there. I don't think that was the right play. Things Rocky almost taking lots of damage. I'm gonna go Heatran. Ah oh, God, it's like the worst thing that could have happened is for him to. I hate Scrawn. He. How much did the U-turn do? It turned eight percent. Eight flipping percent. I hate Skarm. Like, I literally want to kill Skarm. Goodbye. I, I hate it so much. Get out. Just just no. I, I don't like Skarm. Right? Mug's gonna come in. He's gonna go for a poison jab or a knockoff or whatever. B Drill's more of a late game sweeper. So I definitely want to conserve B Drill here. Um, I feel like you go for a knockoff here, if anything. I don't think he goes straight off Poison Jab. I must think he goes to knock off here. Nice! He does actually knock off. So now he's just going to Poison Jab, I'm assuming. Go Heatran, obviously. Obviously, go Heatran here. Nice! It's interesting, because you guys don't normally see me playing, like, outside of VGC. Um, so, looking at his team, he could go Charizard here. Um, I am definitely faster. He has to sack off a Pokemon, really. He would go Charizard. I almost want to predict that. I really want to. I really want to go for rocks. Basically, he's just gonna go Charizard, and then he'll Earthquake. We go Bulu. He Flare Blitzes. I go Slowbro. 
but then he can drag me in, and that's not good. So what if I go see overheat? He actually goes Lando. He's gonna sack off his Lando here, cause Lando. I think L Landers always dies to this. I stand corrected. That should be a solve this bull or solve this Lando. I don't think Landers should be able to live that. Why do I feel like he's just gonna go for a U turn? I feel like he's just gonna go for a U turn. Oh my god, he's gonna go for a U turn. Well, I go slow, bro, either way, because if. Okay, look, if he earthquakes, I eat that. And if he goes for the U turn, Rocky Helmet knocks him out. That's my play. Let's see if he actually does go for the U turn. Uh, he does take Rocky Helmet damage. And honestly, it's kind of what I needed. For at least, like, I wanted the Rocky Helmet damage. Like, sure, knockoff kind of sucks. But I needed that Rocky Helmet damage. And I'm, you know what? Yeah, we took that damage. But I'm more than glad to take that damage if I can get rid of the Landers, which is a pretty big threat. He's going to tap Lele here. And I don't see the use in Slowbro anymore. Um. Well, actually, do I do I see a switch in though? Like, okay, I could. I'm actually just gonna go for Sokov. I'm gonna go straight on to Bulu. Oh, I don't have Stone Edge on this one. Dang. Dang, I don't have Stone Edge on this one. Ah, that's so dumb. I don't have Stone Edge on this Bulu, which I really would have loved to have Stone Edge here. Cause he might go Charizard. He might go. Um. That muck. I really would have loved Stone Edge there. Fudge. He had this, he does actually go Mog. If I can land this, how much? I feel like Superpower is knocking out, but I don't know if it is. Just gonna go for a point. I feel like the safer play would be to go Heatran here. But that give him a free switch into the Charizard or something like that. He's not using Charizard. So it might be Y, but I'm feeling like it's X. On this sort of team, I would expect it to be X. Um, I kind of want to go Heatran because he's just going to go for the Poison Jab and then go for... I don't know, an Overheat? A Stealth Rock? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play safe and go Heatran. So he's just going to go for knockoff, which is fine. Then he would... He would conserve his muck, and he would go something. He would have to go the Charizard here. Which is why I feel like I should double out, but I also want to Stealth Rock. I am going to Stealth Rock here. This is actually perfect. Oh, VGC Moon Series is Taurus going on right now. Because if I... Hmm... Grassy Terrain reduces damage of, of Earthquake, Bulldoze, and something else. I feel like Earth Power is the safer play. Yeah, okay, so that's good. So, basically, Muck is kind of screwed at this point. He can't really do too much. And I go Beedrill, and I get free... Actually, I'm going to go Dragonite here. Dang, I don't have much time on this. Wow. I'm going to go Dragon Dance. He might knock off here. So he's Ice Punch. I'm a Dingus. Yeah. God dang it, dude. That was not a good play. I'm going to go Sylveon, and I'm just going to go for the Hyper Voice. That was just not a good play there. I don't know why I did that. I don't really know why I won my Dragonite, because Dragonite might have been crucial here for me to win this. He is going to go Clefable, which tells me he's... That tells me he's Calm Mind. So I'm just going to go Bulu here. See, so he actually wishes. But why would you wish here? You would wish... I'm going to go for the Wood Hammer. You go Charizard here, but... That's good damage. And... We know this thing's X. 
Oh, the wish came true. We know this thing's X. So if I go Sylveon. If I sack off Sylveon to a Flare Blitz. Please tell me. Oh, shh. Fudge, uh, man. Did not want that to happen. Yep. Dang it. Yeah, that just wasn't a good call on my part. I wouldn't have won anyways because I wouldn't have won anyways because I just played that poor end game poorly. God dang it, dude! I really did not play that one well. I'm forfeiting. I really did not play that one well. I mean, like I I called some plays, but the rest I didn't. We have a very interesting team, which I'm not in favor of. Arcanine's interesting, but other than that, I just don't like everything else. Glyscore is especially annoying. I don't deal with Glyscore well. In fact, I don't deal with Glyscore well enough that I'm going to go Heat Transfer off the gate. And at least Rotom, perfect. Okay. Excuse me. He's just going to Volt Switch here into... Where do you go for the Hydro Because I really want to predict Volt Switch out the gate. Um, but he could just go Hydro Pump. I feel like safe switch is to go Bulu. Um, he's just going to go for Hydro Pump. Because if I would have stayed in, I would have died. Or been in range. But now he's going to go either Arcanine or the Ferrothorn. He's probably going to go Arcanine. So I'm just going to... I can see Ferrothorn coming in. I'm going to Nature's Madness. He's going to go Ferrothorn. And I go for the superpower here. Um, because if he stays in, he dies. Now, if he switches out, good play. But he just gave me Ferrothorn, which is huge. Because that means no stealth marks for him. Now, he does have Glyscore, which he might go into this turn. I can see him going Glyscore. See him going Arcanine. Um, he goes Glyscore. Fair play. I'm going to go... Ah, uh, this thing's Poison Heal, which kind of sucks. I really just want to go for Wood Hammer, but he's going to... Hmm. Man, I really want to go Heat Chan. I'm going to go Slowbro, though. Oh, God. I don't know. You gotta be kidding me. This is why I hate Glyscore, dude. I literally cannot deal with this thing. Do I have anything that's faster? Oh my god. And he's, he's just gonna... See, okay, he Earthquakes here. I go Bulu. And I... Horn Leech? Do I Wooden Hammer or do I Horn Leech? Horn Leech should be able to pick up the knockout. If he does substitute, I get recovery back. Earthquake's not going to be doing so I'm going to Horn Leech. But yet again, he could Roost. But that means he'd be taking super effective damage. Right, he does decide to go Arcanine. But that's a saving grace because, I mean, I, I find that great. And if he does actually call the um, heat trans switch in, the good play from him. But at this point, I I'm just trying to go for what I see fit. Uh, what if, if this Arcanine has freaking Will O Wisp? I'd cry. Um, Road Tom does. I'm going Dragonite and Dragon Dance. Nope. Yep. Nice. Okay, so he does. He actually does make the close combat play, which. To be fair, it's a very good play because I was going heat train there, so that was a pretty good play for my opponent. Um, calling that heat train switch in was very nice. I actually it goes Lottie, which tells me one or two things. Number one, his Lottie scarf, which I don't like. What is Lottie has to be scarf though? Oh my god, I can't tell. I'm cooking Dragon Claw. Dang. Yeah, I, I just, oh my god, I just got to switch in bull there, and I would, um, yeah, terrible play. Man, I'm pissed at myself for that. God dang. God dang, man. I'm so pissed at myself for that. Yeah, whatever, though. 
I mean, sometimes you place. Oh, dang. I shouldn't have done that. But, it, whatever. This thing is Earth Power or something. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rock. Kill Storm Tom Watch. This is actually perfect. I get rocks up. I get to. He's gonna Volt Switch here. So, he's gonna Volt Switch. I'm gonna go Sylveon. On his Volt Switch. I actually Willows. I was about to bring in Bulu, which is very good for me. It's very good. I'm going to Wish. I'm going to Hyper Voice. If he goes Arcanine, Arcanine's at a percent where it'll cave in almost. He has to go Chansey here, which I could bait on, but he's just going to Volt Switch probably. He'd Volt Switch, go Chansey. So there's no reason for me to try to switch out because Volt Switch would help him. So who knows? Yeah, who knows, really. I mean, it might be, it might not be. I'm not so sure. I mean, we'll see. I mean, okay, so he is just... Oh, he actually goes for Discharge. Alright. I mean, I'm not talking quite a lot. I don't know what's going on. Alright, so I'm just going to go for another Hyper Voice. How much does that do? 48%. He's probably going to consider that. I'm going to get a Wish Up. It's just going to go Chansey, which is perfect, because I can then Wish into Bulu. So, we, we did not throw this game away yet, but... I'm gonna. I'm, I'm looking at Discord real quick. I know it's really unprofessional, but eh, we're unprofessional. Doesn't matter. He's actually gonna chance. He's gonna toxic, and he's gonna go. His Arcanine was Flash Fire. He would go Arcanine here, or he would go Glycor, or he would go Lottie. He'd probably go Latias. Um. So I'm gonna go Sylveon. He actually goes Glycor, which is fine because. I can just go for Hyper Voice. Actually, if you want to sub, but... Okay, he substitutes Sword Chance Earthquake and, like, something. I'm just going to go for Hyper Voice. Could could deal lots of chance. Yeah, I actually really want to get in my Slowbro here. I really want to get my Slowbro. I really want to get in Slowbro. He is going to go to Hard Chansey. It's taking damage, though. And I'm just going to go Slowbro. I hope this thing's not natural cure. No, they are, all are, right? He's actually just gonna wish. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't know Wish Chansey was a thing. What would he wish into? Rotom Wash or Gliscor? Definitely Rotom Wash. I'm going Blue. Oh, nice. Alright. That's cool. That's really cool. Because now I can get a uh, free wood hammer off into anything. Well, do I want to get a free wood hammer off or do I just want to? Nah, I'll go for. Well, he's going to go Arcanine. It's taking a lot, though. And with that damage, he's going to go. And I actually haven't used T Tran. So he's going to go for a Flare Blitz maybe this time. I'm going to go Slow Bro. I feel like that's a good play. Yeah. And I'm just going to go for a... I feel like he'd sack Arcanine here. Maybe go Chansey or something. It does get Intimidate, so... Should I reveal Toxic? Sure. Or should I just Scald to ensure the KO? Should I call mine? I'm going to call mine. This thing does have all Charge. But I do have a Calm Mind up, which means I'll live a Volt Switch. Or a Discharge, I believe. And I can sack off. And besides, if Rotom Wash comes in here, then I what I'll do is I could Toxic it. Actually, Chansey comes in. I'm like, I'm just gonna Toxic Chansey. Do get the Toxic off. I'm going to go straight into Sylveon. And I hope Chansey's not healer. I hope Chansey's not healer. He is going to Rotom Wash. I'm just going to get a Heal Belt. Actually, I'm going to go for the Wish. I'm going to go for the Wish and the Heal Belt. Because that ensures if he goes Gliscor, you know, we eat a Hydro Pump Crit. Uh, should not matter. Um, If I go Protect. Just one more turn. He gets Leftovers. He's actually just going to Defog. 
That's fine. I can get a hyper voice off into anything that wants to come in. He actually decides to go for the default, which tells me he might be going Chansey or something, right? Or Glacepar. I'm actually just going to go for the um, hyper voice. He actually does pair me. Oh, that, that, ah, that's bad. I'm going to go for the heal bell if I get the chance. Okay. Come on. All right. We got a wish here. And no matter what, we protect. If he goes Chansey, that's fine. Left Leftovers Rotom's really annoying. He's going to go for the Hydro Pump. Do get a wish off. And this thing can do anything once, really. I'm going to protect, though. We have to. I think that was kind of obvious, though. I could be wrong. I'm just going to go for the Hyper Voice. If you go for the Discharge again, please don't paralyze me. Come on now. What? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so. Okay, crits. I'm kind of annoyed by it because those matter. But you're going to get a crit and a para? Like, you've gotten three crits now. I wasn't going to say anything because I'm like, whatever. You know. Or, there might have been two crits. I'm kind of overreacting by seeing three. But, wow. Okay. And if I don't, if I don't get this off. I have to heal bell. Hydro Pump does 21%. I have to heal bell here. Not to get paralyzed. Thank you. Toxic. Here we go. Okay, here, here's our opportunity. Go B drill. Toxic. Mega. Swords dance. Here's our opportunity. Wait. I'll pursue him. That way we deal at least some damage to it. He's going to go Gliscor here, actually. Which is fine. I don't really mind that, honestly. So I'm just going to go for a Poison Jab or a U-Turn. I'll go for a U-Turn straight on to Slowbro. And you actually went for the Ice Fang, which is very useful information. Why Ice Fang though? Maybe expecting Tapu Bulu, which is a fair a fair play, honestly. Um, you're definitely gonna go Chansey though, but I can whittle that thing down. Thing it's actually not toxic because it is. Oh, it actually does not have Roost, so I'm just gonna go for a toxic predicting chan predicting Chansey. Okay, nice. Did get that off? I can go. I don't know. He's going to wish here, actually. I'm going to call mind. And I'm actually going to slack off here. Took some damage. Took some poison damage. 174. You are going to be able to go first, which kind of sucks. But poison damage is going to put you within range of basically any of my attacks. So that's good. Um, kind of like the position I'm in. That Scarf Lottie is scary. I kind of figured it was Scarf Latia, so I shouldn't have done that. It would have been too easy. It would have been it would have been too easy to just click Dragon Claw right there in front of it. He's going to Scald into He's going to Wish into Rotom. And I'm just gonna toxic. If I get Toxic off on Latios, that's fine. Ooh, that's actually kind of sucky. Um. You have to let Chansey. Should I, I'm going to Toxic again. I'm going to toxic again, toxic again. Should I make the double switch into, like, Beedro here? Because think about it, right? He... No, 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 because uh, I should ju I should just go for the Scald. I'm going to go for the Scald. That's fine. Hey, that's damage. That is 100% damage. And actually, I'm I'm all, I'm all ears for just Call Mining here. 
Actually, should go blue, and I should. I should go blue, and I should go for horn leech here. Nah. We're gonna go for a calm mind. Slack off. Scald. We're gonna go for a scald. Chansey is a little bit of a threat, but I feel like a discharge actually doesn't do enough. What? This is the most annoying Rotom I've ever faced in my entire life. I'm going blue. Thank you. Question is, are you are you going you're gonna go for a Will Wisp? Okay, now's the time. Why go he train? And I just Died to a freaking hydro pump. Cause he's obviously he's obviously going to go for Will Wisp. I go slow bro here. He's obviously gonna go for Will Wisp. That's actually perfect. Well yeah. So also don't get paralyzed here. So also don't get paralyzed. You don't have protect. You um could substitute. Actually, just goes Rotom, which I'm fine with. Oh, we did actually get paralyzed. Um, I don't know, cause he he could easily just go for a Willow. I'm in toxic. Thank you. That is unrecoverable damage right there. Unrecoverable. Um, and I can go Sylveon, and Hi Hyper Voice did 44 before you're taking 12% from Toxic. From Recovery, you'll be at, it'll take 60%, because Grass to Terrain heals you by 6%. You'll be at 50, so you won't quite be at enough. Beedrill, I could go here, but we could get paralyzed. I don't really want that. I'd rather go blue, and I'd, yeah, I'd rather go blue here. So we do see the Discharge coming out. Um... Is I am actually just gonna go for wood hammer. I don't think this should knock out glide score. Good. Okay, it does knock out glide score. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't know why he's not going Lottie though. There we go. And I'm assuming we're gonna see ice beam. I'm assuming we are. And um, we know we know it's scarf. We know it's Scarf. We can go slow, bro. It has... Okay, I had a type of blue. It's ineffective. So maybe it's HP Fire. So we know it's HP Fire. That's a good thing. That's the good thing. We know it's HP Fire. So if worst comes to worst, we can just go... Heat, we can switch in Heatran. And we, we'd be fine. So I can go for a Toxic onto Latios. He's gonna go. He's going to go with Rotom Watch, so I can make the Tapu Bulu switch in. Yep, nice. Um, at this point, I feel like Rotom Watch doesn't have too much utility. I'm actually just gonna go for Wood Hammer. If you want to talk to Lottie, yes, you're still taking damage. That's fine. Um, I am just gonna Wood Hammer here because I don't think a Hornley. She actually misses. Thank you. Thank you for the amount of times that you have paralyzed me that I get that miss. Okay, like, you know, I know Pokemon's a game of luck, alright? Yeah, she does forfeit. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Finally, like, okay, we're 1297 now, but like, you know, after getting paralyzed and getting crit for quite a lot, I was able to just say, hey... I'm gonna come in on your freaking Rotom switching. Like, I know you're switching Rotom here. That's your win condition. Like, your win condition was going Rotom there. Like, you had to go Latios because, you know, you're looking at it. I knew that was Scarf, right? Because even, even when I sit in my Dragonite, I'm like, I know this is Scarf. So I don't even know why I was going for, for Dragon Claw. But 
As soon as I, like, confirmed, confirmed that it was Scarf, because I was at plus one with my Dragonite, my speed would have been, like, 10, 11 points faster than Latias at max speed, but it outsped me, which means it was Scarf, so I knew that, you know, once I saw Hidden Power Fire, or Hidden Power, I'm like, okay, well, it was ineffective against Slowbro, he went for it against Tapu Bulu, it's probably Hidden Power Fire to catch Ferrothorn on the switch in, so I'm like, alright, well, He's locked into him power five here. His play would be because I might toxic, right? And Rotom Wash is already toxic. You can discharge from there. That's your play. That's the play you have to make. I, I um, w you know, put my opponent into a position where I'm like, this is the play that you have to make if you want, if you want to have any chance to win. And I capitalized off of that. And I'm like, hey, I know you're withdrawing Rotom, so I'm just gonna double swap into Bulu. Bam. Or not? Yeah, I double swapped. I double saw Bulu thinking, I know you're going to go Rotom. And I don't know why you didn't go Lottie there, but Woodhammer still would have done quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit. So maybe understanding that. You know, sometimes I play pretty well, and then I play... I, in the first game, I could have played that one better. But this game, I started off rough, and that's normally what happens. Like, there's a, I go in Dragonite, and I start to try to set up, and then my opponent sends out a Pokemon, but, and I'm like, well, that's fine, because, you know, I have... um. You know, I outspeed it, and I can just Oko it, and then it ends up being Scarf, and then I lose momentum, and then I go into this, like, defensive mindset, and then I play really defensive for the rest of the game. Like, we're on turn 51, folks. Like, that's crazy. Um, you know, this whole defensive mindset, and I'm just able to get my win that way, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah. Just gonna check Discord real quick. Never mind. Discord, nothing's new. I just got Discord, which is pretty cool. Anyways, um, yeah, phenomenally played, um, both from my opponent being, actually calling, earlier in the match, calling that he transfer in, which you saw, I, I already selected my move, and then I'm like, well, if he does call the heat transfer in, because I'm, you know, he trans flash fire, it'd be better for me, I, I figured what I, I forgot what I went, maybe I went slow bro or something, it would have been better for me to have gone slow bro, because number one, you know, I'm Rocky Helmet, and honestly, that was just a better play overall, but I was just thinking flash for Arcade Chain because I want to be flashy, I want to be kind of cool, but no, nah, I just got to play defensively in those kind of situations, like, you can't risk your heat train like that, because that close combat is doing, like, 60-70%, and then, you know, once you come in, uh, you might not be able to take a Hydro Pump, like, if I was in a situation where, you know, it was Rotom launch against my, um, heat train, I know, like, I go for Z overheat, I play matches where I know that that will, once, or, that will, Pick up the knockout on Rotom Watch when they're at like 50%. So maybe like Rotom Watch was at 50%. So if it came down to a turn, came down to like an instance where I had to go, um, my Heatran, right? And we saw that that Latias did not have, um, Hidden Power Ground. Although Latias or Latios do carry Earthquake. So he could have went, he could have went Latios. Oh, <sighs> excuse me, I'm tired. I'm really tired. Um, so yeah, that, that was good. But I think early game. The switch, the call for just trying to sleep with Dragonite. I don't know. I feel like Dragonite's a Pokemon that I have to take off the team. Like, it works sometimes, and then sometimes it doesn't, and I don't think I like it. It's there just to kind of keep the momentum going, like get an extreme speed into weaken Greninja or something like that. It, it doesn't do too much, but yeah, that was a good battle. Uh, I think I'm going to hop in for one more battle. I think it's going to be a... Uh, Let's end it off with a uh, Challenge Cup 1v1. Just for a little bit, I'll have to end this real quick. But, yeah, that was pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. People are, I don't want to uh, gloat, but uh, is that even a word, gloat? Um, oh, wow. Yeah, that's a little bit unfair. Um, I'm going to click. I'm going to click a dwell or something. Um, but... In OU, like, there are times when I play decent, like, I can make some calls, but some poor plays, and then there are times where I played really well, like, that last match was really good. So, I think all around, I'm getting there. Uh, what is this guy's nickname? Oh, boy. Alright, well, he's gonna go Dredagon. So, obviously, we have to go. Well, we go Crocodile 100%, but we're gonna go Dwebble. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, no, he has Intimidate. Never mind. <laughs> That's not good. I'm gonna go Stone Edge. No! Heck yeah. No! 
<laughs> We're gonna crit him. <laughs> no. Dang it. All right, we'll, we'll go on for one more game. But yeah, I feel like that was pretty cool. I might do some more OU videos. I wasn't feeling VGC tonight. I just, I just wasn't into it. A oh, very interesting team. I just wasn't. Oh, we got Big Teeny. Yes. I just passed by though. Um, I just wasn't feeling it really, honestly, at this point. So, you know, take what you can get, I guess. Or no, okay, that's rude. I did. I didn't mean that. Jeez. Oh, I mean, it depends on how you interpret it. I just didn't feel like doing it tonight. So. Thought this would be a nice little video. I'll probably get it up by tomorrow morning. I'm recording it tonight, but I won't have time to upload it. So, yeah, there you go. Um, Wet, wet Wand. That's interesting. I kind of like Vic, Victini, but I don't. I really want to cover for the Gigalith, because the Gigalith is probably coming out. So, I need, some, I need to find something that covers Gigalith. I'm going to go. Well, it's only Rock. I'm going to go Executor. It's actually Lee Vanny. What? Huh. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Yeah. Yeah, this is not good. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> well, I didn't feel like doing VGC today, so I thought I'd do something different. I've been playing OU for a while now, I'd say five months or so, with basically the same team throughout, just kind of, um, kind of working on improving my team each and every time, and just kind of looking at what's good, what's not, what I should change, and everything in between. I feel like it's a, it's a pretty good team, especially with my kind of mentality, um, with the team. I, I definitely enjoy it, but, uh, yeah. I don't know how long this video is, is. I think it's like 40 minutes long. Yeah, that first match, I don't know. That first match, I was uh, kind of a bit iffy. Second match, we redeemed ourselves. That was incredible. I gotta say, there's. Some t I feel like OU, I just play my absolute best. I can just call switches, I can call everything, I can just say, you're gonna make this double switch, you have to, it's your only play, and I can kind of go from there, and I feel like, sometimes I can just play the best, I play really defensively, and there are times when my opponent can, you know, outplay me and whatnot, but I feel like I do well at OU, you know, I'm still stuck at the 9, or 1297, because sometimes I make brass decisions, and very bad decisions, like, you know, early game, going, my opponent goes Mammoth Swarm, I go Heatran, and I decide, well, they're not going to Earthquake, they're going to Stealth Rock, and then I go for Stealth Rock, or, um, Overheat, or Phoenix Thrower, and then they go Earthquake. Come on, like, you should have gone Slowbro, or, like, some other Pokemon. I don't think Mammoth Swarm gets knocked off, it could, so you could go, like, Heatran, but I don't know what you would do in that instance. You would have to let something get knocked off. But I'm rambling and rambling on. Holy crap. This has been a long video. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Tell me what time you guys are watching this video. Maybe at night. Maybe you're getting tired. Who knows? Anyways. <laughs> I'm rambling on more and more. So I will see you guys in the next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to um, do some more consistent content. Real quick. I'm not going to ramble on for too long. But I hope to have the first episode of my new podcast series up. Either tomorrow or this weekend, probably Saturday. So I, you know, just look forward to that. I put it in kind of a channel description or discussion part. So I hope you guys are really, you know, excited for that. But anyways, guys, if you really enjoyed the video, give it that um like, give smash that like button down below if I can even speak, uh, and um hit that subscribe button for future videos. It'd be it really mean a lot to me. But anyways, guys, I'm Evgeny Glade, and I will see you guys later. Peace.